I went, I was just finishing up his postdoc at Syracuse. Chandra had decided to get interested to, to transit to general relativity. You know, every year, every 10 okay. years, Chandra changed his field. Ten years. Yeah. Except that last 20, 20 years, he stayed in general relativity. Okay. So every 10 years, he was looking for a new field. And then he went to a conference in Warsaw in 1962. It was a very famous, very interesting conference. And that is when he had decided to change over. And by the end of 60s, then he had made up his mind completely. So in 69, Chandra would have been 59. So he, he, almost 60 years old. But in his style, he decided to learn general relativity. It was the best way was to get the three brightest young people to lecture him. So he okay. invited to uh, Chicago that summer in either 70 or 71, which I forget. So the three people were Brandon Carter, who was in Cambridge and who was a okay. collaborator of Hawking, and they wrote very influential papers on black holes together. Second was George Ellis, mm -hmm. a cosmologist, and he has written the mm -hmm. book with with Hawking, which is called the Hawking and Ellis book on general relativity. It's called Large Scale Structure of Space Time. And third was Bob Garrosh. Mm -hmm. So he invited all of them, and each of them would give one hour talk in the morning. I don't know if it was every day or every other day during during those uh, whatever period they were, some at least a month, maybe two months. And Chandra would take notes. The audience was basically just Chandra. Maybe other people attended. But Bob told me that Chandra would call them in the evening to say, but you said okay. this, but this doesn't follow from that. And what, what did you mean? You know, like a real student, Chandra was actually doing, I mean, at the age of 60. And these, these, these were kids, right? These were early, these kids were mid-20s. I mean, so Chandra had that humility and that, that rigor, intellectual rigor to learn from the best. And it doesn't matter if they're young or whatever it is. And so at the end of that, Chandra decided to offer the position to Bob Garrosh. 